Howdy folks, it's SJ Poor here, Little Face Brewing, coming at you again with another beer review from Black Cat Brewing. That's right, I told you guys I was going to do all of these bad boys. I got the General Gates Porter right here. Clocking in at 5.6%, this was dated 223, General Gates Porter. From Black Cat Brewing Company, Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Right there is the awesome mug that I love to drink out of. Right here is some water. Always remember to stay hydrated, folks. Always remember to stay hydrated. So I had a brew day today. No, I've not been drinking. This is actually going to be my first beer. The only beer that I've had today has been tasting from the brew day <laughs> sound of music so as i've been doing we'll give you all the money shot as i pour mms there we go that way when she gets back she'll be able to She'll be able to enjoy some. Look at that beautiful dark black. I mean, you can't you can't see through that. I can't see through that at all. Nice little tight um, tan to brown head that's quickly dissipating. So uh, yeah, we're gonna set that bad boy off to the side, and we're going to go ahead and pour mine. Like I said, I am drinking my beers out of. Woohoo! Did it again. Well, out of my Black Cap mug. Since I can't have it while I'm at Redline Black Cap, blah, 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 I'm going to have it in my mug in my brewery right here. So let's dive in. Ah, sweet notes, caramel, really picking up just, just everything sweet, sweet molasses, sweet caramel notes, um, dark chocolate, yeah, mm. now, this was one of my favorite beers that he had on tap out there. General Gates Porter, I think, is pretty much a mainstay at Black Cat, just like uh, the Cream Ale is. They're both phenomenal beers. So, uh, again, if you're in York, Pennsylvania, go to Redline. Go to Black Cat Brewing Company right here. Right here. You won't disappoint. You will not disappoint. as I remember. Oh, so good. It pours like motor oil. <laughs> and that's a good thing. Now, wouldn't want to wait too much longer on this one because it's starting to lose its carbonation. And this is, these, which is that is no fault of the beer. These are filled off the tap, capped, and then they were sent out to me. And I'm drinking it a month later. So it's actually hanging tough real well for a month. Mm. Medium to full mouthfeel. Just nice roasted notes the whole way through. There is nothing about this beer that is over the top. This is probably one of the easiest beers you can drink. You know, porters in general, you know, I look at them as a meal beer, really. I mean, just to be honest, it's like a meal in a glass. You know, they're very full flavored. 
the mouth feels fantastic. They do not dry off. You know, they stay and uh, coat your mouth a little bit. And it's it's just like almost... So a porter would, is an, another great beer to have with savory foods. You know, like um, you know, if I had a big old juicy steak or some ribs or anything like that, this right here would... Uh, <clears throat> Would suit the bill, rugby. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look up the definition of a porter, and that's it right there. It's a, it's simply, it's a wonderfully brewed beer, as always. I mean, all of his beers have been fantastic. I got one left to do, and that's the uh, Belgian Abbey that's in there. And um, that one is for when Mayor gets home. And then we'll dive into that. I don't know if we'll do it this weekend or not. Uh, maybe. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to wait too much longer on these. I'm glad, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm hitting this one on today. Because if I'd have waited a little bit longer, she'd have just been flat. And that would have been my fault. So, perfect timing on these. <clears throat> I've let it warm up a little bit. All those flavors are coming to the forefront. Mm. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. So, I had a brew day today. I brewed up uh, a version of Larry's. Or Lamo Twenty Two, as uh, YouTube knows him, um, I know him as Larry, and Larimo, and all that stuff. We've been best friends since we were fourteen, and um, I brewed up a version of his Roadrunner, changed it a little bit, um, mainly because I thought I had Amarillo and I did not. So I subbed that out with Simcoe. I threw in uh, two ounces of my homegrown hops in the mash. Um, I was going to do uh, two ounces as first wort, but decided against it. Um, did it as a five-gallon batch in the system over here. Went really nice. Smooth brew day. Hit all of my numbers. Super happy. <laughs> Actually, now that I know I have an issue with my temperature, my probe for the mash tun is off by 10 degrees. But I know that now. So um, I will just adjust accordingly. And I make sure I have my thermometer here to always test it, just to make sure that I'm where I'm supposed to be. And uh, I will get with Mike Dean um, so that he can help me recalibrate that one. Eventually. I'm not really that worried about it. I know it's off 10 degrees. It's easier. It's an even number. So it makes it makes it easy. Um, that's in fermenter behind me. I kegged up the Dropkick Nate. So that is in the keyser. Charging right now. As we speak. Um, two kegs of that. I want to do... Um, Stay tuned for uh, the next revolution. And uh, you know, I, I, we'll talk about that one a little bit later. That's going to be, uh, I got some stuff that's going to make that one pretty special. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't decided if I want to do that as a big batch yet or how I want to do that. So the... Uh, 14 gallon fermenter is open, so I should do a double batch of something. I'm not sure yet. Thinking about maybe doing a double batch of two dogs. Two dogs is always a good beer to have on tap. So there's a whole bunch of talk about uh, homebrew while I'm sitting here doing a review. Black Cap Brewing Company's General Gates Porter. Sweet. Oh, it's just sweet. Sweet, lovely goodness. Well, 
I'm not going to drink this whole thing on camera. I wanted to get this done so that uh, I can upload it because I just uploaded the um, coffee stout. So I want to actually upload this one next. And uh, yeah, enjoy the day. That beautiful day here in uh, central Kentucky. So uh, this is SJ Port, Little Face Bruin. Enjoy the fruits of Black Cap Brewing's labor and drink his beer. Again, thanks. Shout out to you, Adam and Greg. Um, huge thanks. I'm going to, I'm, I'm putting together some gifts to send your way. <laughs> Cheers. Mm-hmm.